I was just on a training call with a literary agent, and she said that one of the mistakes authors make is that they fail to write a breakout novel. Well, that begs two questions now, doesn't it? <laughs> the first one is, what is a breakout novel? And the second is, how do you write one? Well, a breakout novel is one that takes your career to the next level because it connects with readers, both domestically and worldwide. It could be your debut novel, but it doesn't have to be. A word of caution, though, the publisher can only afford to give you so many chances. So if you fail to get a breakout novel relatively quickly, it's likely that your contract will not be renewed. All right. So how do you write one? If it's so important to have a breakout novel, how do you create one? Well, you need to have a protagonist that readers care about. You need to have a plot that's intriguing, no matter which genre you're writing in. And you have to create a fictional world that readers want to hang out in. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's quite a list, isn't it? <laughs> the good news is that there are tried and true ways of creating each one of those things. It's not a mystery. We know how to do it. And that's exactly what I'll be talking about in the How Stories Work webinar. Now, I mean, I guess I should have called the webinar um, writing a breakout novel. And I don't know, maybe the next time I offer it, I will. But whatever you want to call it, if you want to write a breakout novel, you need to know how stories work. So come to the How Stories Work webinar. It's on April 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern. To register, visit valeriefrancis.ca slash spring2024. I'm offering a 30% discount right now as a special launch price. And if you register for the bundle, you're going to save even more than 30%. So that's April 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern. To register, go to valeriefrancis.ca slash spring2024, and it's the How Stories Work webinar, but if you prefer, you can think of it as the writing a breakout novel webinar. <laughs> I'll see you there.